Hey, fashion friends, I'm Jeannie Mai, and I'm about to show you how to get red carpet ready. Come on. Now, Hollywood starlets go to great lengths in order to stand out in a crowd, whether they're trying new makeup techniques or whitening their smile. Well, I'm going to show you some of those secrets and how they get red carpet ready. Brought to you here by Philip Zoom. All right, guys, I am here with celebrity makeup artist to the stars, Miss Fiona Styles. Thank you for joining me. My pleasure. I know you have crazy busy schedules. I mean, especially when you're working with stars like Jessica Alba, Elizabeth Banks, Paula Patton, and now you get to be here with me. Yay! So a lot of these stars do have to get ready for the red carpet, right. and they look stunning every time you work on them. What would you say are the essentials when it comes to makeup to look red carpet ready? I think the key look is to get your foundation perfect. Mm -hmm. There is no retouching on the red carpet. So true. Yeah, so you better get it right the first time. Absolutely, so skin is in, what else? <laughs> um, I really like contouring and highlighting, playing with lights and shadows to sculpt the face very subtly. Now, of course, a lot of these stars have red carpet events to go to weekly, so yeah. you've got to keep it fresh, keep it new, and they always look stunning. So, you're ready to share some of those secrets with you me? You bet, okay. happily. Let's get started. Okay, let's do it. So, your skin is prepped. We've got moisturizer on, lip balm. Let's start with foundation. Okay. I always put it in the palm of my hand and then take a brush. Oh, I have like yeah. a nice flat foundation. Okay. Why do you find a foundation brush important? I like to be able to start at the center of the face and work my way out, and I just get better control with placement with a brush. Okay, let's say I had a pimple. Let's say you did. Okay, well, on the happened? big day, yeah. like it always happens, right? Right. So what you want to do with your concealer is I like to use a cross-hatching motion. So you're kind of doing an X or a plus sign because then you get the product on it and you're feathering it out over the edges. I love. Skin is done, yes. foundation is now red carpet ready. That's right. Okay, now for contour. So when you are doing contour, you want to make sure you also do highlights. Wherever there's shadow, there needs to be light. So I like to do a little bit down the bridge of the nose, and I like to do along the tops of the cheekbones. And then you want to make sure it's blended so you don't have like a crazy stripe. Okay, do you want to get to the lips? I do. I'm excited about this part because okay. the smile is essentially everything when it comes to the red carpet. That's I mean, right. if you don't have a winning smile, everything else just kind of gets lost. What are we doing today? We're going to do a nice bright coral. Ooh, I love. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I'm so glad that you picked a color that really helps to brighten your pearly whites mm -hmm. because I actually also got my teeth whitened by Philips Zoom. I have totally used that. Really? I did it at the dentist a while back, yeah. Well, you know, that doesn't surprise me because it's the number one consumer requested product to dentists today. Really? It's just so easy to use. Like, it can brighten your teeth up to eight shades brighter in 45 minutes, so it's perfect for anybody who needs, like, fast results, like celebrities on the red carpet. Okay, They're so amazing. tell me what you're doing here for the falsies, because I know a lot of women at home have trouble applying these, and you just did that effortlessly with the coolest glue product I've ever seen. I love one that you can paint on. Okay. Also, it's black. Okay. I've seen women paint it on their lash line first, and then this, and then let them both get tacky, but I'm not going to go paint glue on somebody's lash Got line. it. But if okay. you're doing it to yourself, that's a good trick. Okay. You want to make sure that you put a little black in at the band, or where it's adhered to your lashes so that you can hide all of the knots. And it looks more believable that way. Okay, so let's talk about just the overall highlights of how everybody at home can get this red carpet ready look. Okay. Start with the foundation. Okay. And you want a nice, dewy, beautiful foundation that works for your skin. Then a little contouring, subtle, subtle. And then powder, you want to set that always. And then add a pop of color here on your cheeks. And then you want to do a little bit to the brow to define the brow. And then we can move on to eyes. Red carpet ready. Are you ready, guys? Here it is. I am red carpet ready. Thank you so much, Fiona. You're welcome. So you know, there's lots to be said about having the perfect dress, one-of-a-kind jewels, shoes, and of course, great makeup. So make sure to check out usmagazine.com for our live coverage of the 2012 Emmy brought to you by Philip Zoom. But of course, I think for the red carpet, all you need is a gorgeous smile.